Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the Knitting Man podcast and this week we are talking about Joe Shawl again. Welcome back. Uh, today we are mainly going to be talking about Joe Shaw. Um, and I, I won't, um, uh, this weekend is, is a long weekend here and it's been, uh, uh, this is the end of the weekend now because I'm sort of topping and tailing the, the, the videos that we've made. Joe, is it okay to say topping and tailing? And that's what you used to do when you washed a baby. Oh, that's what you do when you wash your baby. <laughs> okay, so is it is it is it all right for me to say? You don't know, do you? No, no. she's not sure whether I'm okay to say topping and tailing. But uh, so this week, um, uh, this um, episode, uh, we had a long weekend because of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and uh, so we recorded stuff throughout the weekend and this is the ta I'm talking now at the tail end of the weekend and um, but first of all I'm going to go to a clip because when you left me last time um, it, it had all gone you know the phrase I want to use don't you Mrs Smith yeah, it had all one. gone Pear shaped. Pear shaped. It had all gone pear shaped, and um, and Joe Shaw, it was going nowhere, and I was going to throw the design in the bin and throw all the yarn away and everything like that. And but what happened was, um, well, I'm going to I'm going to first of all I'm going to take you to a clip, uh, which is me at the beginning of the weekend. So here you go. Hello, so this is uh, just a, a little update on Mrs. Smith's shawl because um, I've started knitting it again. Um, so what happened was we put the last video out where everything went to pot and um, and I said I would be uh, restarting drawing and um, draw a whole new thing that was much smaller and um and we put the video out and i went to bed thanks joe what are you banging about at did she honestly <laughs> she's got no reason to be banging about she knows i'm doing this and she's just like banging around um so um what are you your joe joe can you just come in here please thank you please come in here because you're a liability anyway it's a holiday weekend here uh we are uh this is the friday uh we've got two bank holidays because it's the queen's platinum jubilee so we've got uh two bank holidays thursday friday and then we've got the weekend as well so it's like four days off so um it's um this is day two so anyway so when i woke up um i um I was laying in bed and I was thinking, why don't I just knit it on thinner needles with thinner yarn? But then I was thinking, oh, that's a bit daunting, really, because I haven't really knitted on tiny thin needles for a long, long time. And although I suggested it to Pansy um, a couple uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was talking to Pansy that in the future she might like to go down to finer yarns so she could get a lot more detail into her picture knits. So... Um, Although I suggested it's pansy, it wasn't really something that I fancied. But I was thinking about it and I was thinking, well, if I knit it, if I knit the 
uh, design that I've already designed on thinny needles with thin yarn. And don't forget, I'm already using thin yarn, but I'm running two together. Um, if I did it that way, I could use my current design. So that was going through my head, but I wasn't convinced about it. And then um, I woke up in the morning and um, there was a message on that video from Grant in New Zealand. And uh, Grant said, why don't you just knit it on thinner needles with thinner yarn? And I thought, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then Linda, and um, I'm sure a lot of you now follow Linda, um, she's one of my favourite knitters as well. Um, she um, she wrote to me and she says, I knit your designs on thinner needles. And um, she sent me some pictures and she said, also, oh, I just finished with just a couple of rows. Around it. I don't do the, the um, corrugated rib. Um, I think she did originally, but she doesn't do the corrugated rib now. She just puts a couple of rows of... Um, of plain knitting around the edge so obviously I haven't got two millimeter needles because you know my favorites three and a half millimeter so I didn't have any but I thought to myself no I'm going to try and swatch this so I'm going to go and buy some needles so I um I got in the car I cancelled what I was doing I was meant to be going out with uh Joe and the kids cancelled what I was doing and I drove straight into Truro and went to Truro Walls, which is a lovely shop. If you ever get the chance, if you're ever uh, around and about uh, uh, Truro Way, go in and have a look there. And so I bought myself two sets of needles. I bought myself um, Knit Pro Symphonies in uh, 2.2 millimeters. 40 centimeters and I bought a set of just two millimeter needles and what I did then was a tiny little swatch and that's it my tiny little swatch and I just wanted to check how the colors would work and uh, check how the border would work so I didn't really do very much just a little bit really just to see how it felt um, and what the um, the texture of the material would be like don't know if you can see it's pretty rubbish it's just you know just very you know um, I, I did a couple of um, rows of plain knitting there at that end I don't know I felt that was a bit bunched up so I did a bit of a two by two rib along there and I kind of liked that so I actually went with two by two rib on on and this is it this is it I've actually started knitting it try and find you a good bit actually but the thing is it's all scrunched up on those so I've ordered online because I I I felt with these knit pro that is cat it's catching on the transition between the uh, cord and the um, the cord and the needle itself so um, I've ordered some uh, metal um, slightly longer needles online which i should get tomorrow but until and until then it's it's all very scrunched up on there and i can't really stretch it out to show you but i will i'll stretch this bit out to show you ah it's all come off the and i am finding it really hard knitting on tiny needles um because because i'm knitting black and you know, I haven't got the best eyesight in the world and I'm knitting black so everything's very small and but I don't know if you can see that so that's the first couple of flowers that are starting to form there um, and yeah I decided to um, to go back to knitting it in the round and do it as like a two color knit um, so um, yeah I'm doing it stranded now so I, I'm not doing it in Tarsia. Um, and yeah, it's very, it's very, very tight on the needles. Um, but the good thing is that now I can complete the 
uh, drawing, the, the chart that I was drawing, that you've seen me drawing for the last couple of weeks, I've only got a tiny little bit to do. I can do that, I can scan that in, I can get that off to the printers, and I can issue that as a chart imminently. So um, today, so it's Friday today, and I'm hoping by the end of this weekend, apart from knitting a few more rows on that, which I'm, I'm really happy with actually, I'm really happy with the, the material that, it, that it's making, but I'll be able to show you that when I've got it on a bit longer needles, not so scrunched up. Um, so yeah, this weekend's gonna be about getting that chart out. So uh, yeah, that's quite exciting for me. So I'm gonna go up there now, uh, finish that chart, get it scanned, um, and then I've got to tinker with it in the, in the computer just to get the, uh, the, the darkness and lightness right before I send it off to the printers. But uh, while everyone else is uh, enjoying themselves, I'm going to be enjoying myself designing a pattern. So um, yeah, I'm just sitting in here now. I'm quite excited at the prospect of finishing this because um, I thought that this one was dead in the water. But then um, uh, the other thing that I wanted to check, I'm going to talk to Joe in a second. But uh, oh, firstly, I'm sitting here. I've turned the music off because I sit here and I, I play. I was talking about Janice Ian and uh, people have said, oh, thanks for the tip on Janice Ian. So if you're going to... Um, I'm, going to try, I'm looking for Janice Ian album now, Joe, to show if you want my favourite. So there it is. Uh, Between the Lines, Janice Ian. It's a cracker. If you haven't got that, get it. But I, I usually play quite chilling music, so at the moment I'm listening to uh, Donald Fagan, The Nightfly, which is lovely too. Right, so... Um, I'm getting in here now because I'm being pointed at by Mrs Smith. Um, so I don't know if you can see there's wet paint on here, Joe, but I'm back on it and I'm really pleased to be back on it. And um, so what I was thinking, though, because we still have the problem with length. Let me let me discuss it. So um, as, as I said before, what's what happens is you've got this background of dark of blue, which is going to be the black. And then these um, flowers will be the pink. So it's going to be pink on black. But I'd love to see it knitted this way. If anyone's going to do it, I'd love to see it knitted in the blue and white. I think it'll look cracking. So it, what happens is this, this is a join. This line's a join because I've designed it so that it runs onto itself. So this white, it's like a wave. I mean, I really, I mean, if you look at a lot of my work, um, apart from Blossom, another thing that I put in a lot of my work are banners. Just try and look for something. So here's one of my prints. Um, and as you can see, there's a, a banner, which, um, or a flag. Um, and so I was thinking of that quite a lot when I was putting this design together. So this, this starts here and it goes up and then it comes back down and then it will run back into itself. So it's a repeat pattern. So you could knit, you know, this again and again and again, if you wanted to, they all run onto each other. And this uh, branch here comes in back in here and up there. So they, they run into each other. Um, what I wanted to say, you can tell I'm excited, can't you, Joe? Mm -hmm. What I wanted to show Joe, because she's not really seen it. And we were talking about size. And um, I just wanted to show um, if I can find a bit that I'm just going to compare this to that. And uh, there we go. But I'm trying not to get, trying not to rip it all off the needles. So uh, I've got these uh, 40 centimeter and I've, I've had to order 60 centimeter. I might see if I can track down a 50 because it might be better because I might have to do magic loop with this and I'm not really happy about doing magic loop. But as you can see, Joe, the scale, it's almost yeah. one for one. Yeah. So your scarf, and it doesn't matter because if I say, if I run it into the next repeat, and you say, oh, that's long enough. I can stop at any point. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, are you happy with that? Yeah. So as soon as I get to the length you want, so that you don't look like Doctor Who, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. you happy with that? Yeah. And you're happy with that will be the width? Yeah. Yeah, you don't look convinced still. It's going to be that wide. Because it's just got, all it's got is a couple of rows either side of that. And a couple of rows on the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it will be that wide. But that's not massive. No. You happy with that? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, thumbs up from the missus. There you go. There you go. Okay. Leave me to it then. Get back to your, um, just put, <laughs> I'm getting back to um, painting. Okay. Okay. So that was me at the beginning of the weekend and I spent quite a bit of time there getting the chart all lovely and then I took it into the computer and uh, and it's gone off to the printers to be printed. Uh, so um, I've just today um, managed to get it onto Etsy. So if you if you do want to buy the chart, I haven't got them yet. It, it's going to take a few days before I get them back from the printers. But if you want to, to um, buy a chart, you can pre-order those on, on Etsy and uh, Joel will send those out as soon as they're in. But um, so that is the, my finished chart. I don't know if I can get it all in, Joe. But can you see it? Oh. You, you'll have to come round to look in there. I can not see it on the drawing board. Oh, I've seen it on the drawing board. Okay, so it's all finished now. And um, what I'll do is uh, later on in this episode, I'll show you where I am with it. Um, so, but first, earlier on in the weekend, um, me and Joe and Kitty and Matt and Arthur and the two babies, um, Nini and Emrys, we all went out for the day. Now it's difficult getting into St Ives this time of year. It's very difficult getting parked, but we thought, well, if we go really early in the day, we can spend the day there. So we did, we spent the day on the beach and uh, the beach is right opposite uh, the Tate Gallery in St Ives. Um, so we went uh, around the uh, Tate Gallery as well. So here is a clip of that. So this is Travels With My Yarn, St Ives.
Uh, so that was us um, at the Tate St Ives and of course Mrs Smith had something to say about my beach attire there because um, a lot of the other gentlemen on the beach were wearing skimpy little um, budgie smugglers. Joe, am I allowed to say budgie smugglers? No. I'm not allowed to say budgie smugglers apparently but she says you're on the beach, you're fully clothed, you're sitting in the shade you're knitting, you're not enjoying yourself. Well, I was enjoying myself. That's what I like to do. But I was very excited. And even when I was going around the Tate, you know, and there's some beautiful paintings and everything there. And normally I do sort of pay them more attention. But I was so excited to be, um, to be knitting and uh, getting on with this project that, you know, that was all that was in my head, really. And I did play with the kids and look after the kids for a bit. But apart from that, you know, I, I, I was just, you know, single-minded about getting on with the knit which i'm going to show you how far i've got i haven't got that far i'm going because it's only been a weekend um but what i will say is because it's only 160 stitches wide i am sort of motoring with it i'm moving on now i, I did say in the previous clip that i wasn't getting on with the knit pros that they were catchy and it seems to have been it seemed they seem to have got worse but what I did was I ordered um, some other needles from Amazon. And then on, uh, when was it, Saturday, they said they were going to be delivered. And I was really excited that they were going to be delivered and I was going to go over to these new needles. And so I was watching and the, the delivery man and on Amazon, it said, oh, you're the next person to be delivered to. And this was like lunchtime. And then... I kept updating the screen and it was saying, oh, he's going to deliver to a few more people before he delivers to you now. So I was a bit disappointed. But then I kept refreshing my screen and then uh, around about five o'clock, it said that they'd been delivered at one o'clock and they'd been handed to me. So I wasn't very pleased with that because obviously they hadn't and no Amazon van had been anywhere near our house because it's quite quiet our road, so I would have noticed and also i was very excited to, to to move on to them so anyway apparently they're going to send me another set of needles but i still haven't got them so i'm still on the knit pros uh which i'm you know can't say i'm really happy with apparently um um the the thing is once you go under three millimeter you have to have fixed needles anyway but if somebody could suggest a better needle with a smoother transition, because the catch, they catch all the time. I'll show you in a minute when I show you the thing. Um, but um, yeah, it, you know, driving me mad, absolutely driving me mad. Anyway, um, so that's my whinge for today. I don't normally whinge, do I, Joe? What? Um, and oh the other the other thing that um it's not a whinge my phone's broken so um i don't i don't actually have a phone that works as a phone because if i did then people would want to ring me all the time so and it's distracting isn't it when people want to ring you all the time so i have a phone and you sometimes see me put it in my pocket things like that um but it doesn't actually work as a phone so it's a bit annoying if you break down or something, you know, and you're in the middle of nowhere. It's a bit annoying it not being a phone. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, it's just you know, what I'm, I'm used to, really. It's like the olden days. You have to go to a phone box and have change in your pocket. Um, I don't do that. And um, so my phone i just really use it for taking photographs and then putting photographs on instagram and um so if anybody has posted anything on instagram because i look at instagram on my phone so if anybody's posted anything on instagram and it, it, it you know like i haven't responded or anybody's written to me it's because my phone's broken i feel a little bit lost without it and um i suppose you know one day when the kids see this video they'll feel sorry for me and they might bring one of their old phones round for me which would be lovely and then i could use that but yeah 
one day, hopefully, they'll learn, they'll look at this video, we'll see. Um, and, oh, that's it really, because I can show you now, This that's my second whinge, there you go. Um, so the, the, the thing is, I was, so I cast on with, so what's happened, I've gone down to this two ply yarn, so I've just made a little ball of it there, it's on a cone actually, I'm using stuff off of a cone, it's just two ply, and I'm using this kid silk, but I think that probably comes up more like a four ply or something, I don't know. But anyway, they seem to be working well together. So I'm using the K facet, which I've got a load of those. I've already used one ball and I've got five of those left. And then I've got this odd thing, which is very close in color and very close in material to that. But it's sort of, they're resonating a bit. And then I've got another black, which is very similar to that or dark gray. And so that I'm, I'm sort of playing them off. But, but what I wanted to say really is that the palette has been reduced down again. So I've actually extracted more colors, mainly due to weight because I've gone down to this thinner weight. Um, so I've got less colors um, that I'm using. Um, but here we are. Um, so, I think I'm about 30 rows in, something like that. And I've got a little join there. So I'm gonna stick it there. And I've been all the way around yet, Joe. There you go. And I'm really, really happy with it. I love it. And I really, I, when I started working with the thinner weight, uh, I struggled. I really struggled, but I've got used to it and I'm loving it. I really, really love it. Um, I think probably I would go up to say two and a half, something like that, because I'm on two, two fives. So I'd probably, if I restarted it, which I won't, I'll finish it on the 2.25 2 millimeters. Um, and hopefully Amazon will deliver my 2.25 uh, by 60 centimeters, but I might see if I can get a 2.25 by 50. And I really would like your recommendations on uh, fixed small needles, because I've not used them, so I don't know um, what are the best uh, at that size. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased. And, and I, I now want to knit and as you can see, it's not very big. It's not very big at all. So once you take, because there's a stick there, once you take, there's about uh, 14 stitches there, which will be steaked. Um, so once you take that out, it's it's very, it's very small. It's not, you know, it's it'll be the perfect size for, you know, what Joe's asked for. So I'm really happy. Um, so uh, what else do I want to talk about, Joe? Yes, so the chart, um, as I say earlier, the chart is now available in the Etsy shop and the link to the Etsy shop is in my link tree, which will be in the details below. So we, what we haven't got around to doing because we've been so busy this weekend is kicking off our patreon but we have been working on our patreon and uh, we've decided we're going to have three levels so we're going to have and those three levels one's going to be called pole dark um, the next level is going to be called mingak and then we're going to have uh, the top tier which will be called tintagel and um, obviously they are all named after uh, beautiful places in Cornwall. And um, the top tier, we're gonna limit to just like three places to begin with anyway. And uh, the idea is, um, because we've been looking at what other people do on their Patreon, the, the idea would be that um, at that level, um, I would be working with you on a pattern for you, similar to what I'm doing with Joe. So, you know, if you had a concept or you had a design, 
uh, that you wanted me to work on, uh, we could work together uh, to, to create that pattern. So I'm quite excited uh, about the prospect of that and hopefully uh, some of you will be too. Um, the, the other thing is um, I am currently working on, and I told you this last week, uh, I'm working on a generic vest pattern. Um, the, cause I'm, the thing is, you know, I, I make vests all the time. I love vests, uh, they, you know, they're my favorite. But I'm working on a generic vest pattern that I'm happy with and um, and I'm a little bit fussy but um, this week I found and I didn't know because it was all folded up I found up this, this folded up piece of paper and it's something that I haven't seen for ages and when I unfolded it I was really pleased because that is my original um, chart that I used to knit my um, swallows vest so I thought that I was going to have to recreate the pattern from the vest but now I've got the original chart um, I might get Joe to film me and do an episode just about doing this conversion because it's going to be difficult because because actually I was knitting four stitches to each square on there and and these lines these darker lines i drew them in as i finished each line i drew those lines in um so yeah i was working quite closely with that um that piece of paper but i thought that that had been lost i haven't seen it for a long long time um so that will really help me um to and and I've said this is a design that I'm working on. But I just wanted to show you that because I just thought, well, it's interesting. And especially that four stitches to the square thing. Um, I did that because I'd done the drawing at that size. And then I found the paper to fit the, the drawing. And that's the first time I used uh, this paper, this, um, the, the big sheets that I buy now. Um, what else did we want to say, Joe? we're going to end with the little princes and princesses oh yes joe's joe's got a um so yeah watch out for the um patreon um because it is imminent any day now it's just that it's just a time time thing um but we are working on it and every day we get a little bit closer um and also the other pattern that i'm working on because people have said to me that they really like the house vest that um, Pansy was wearing last week. People have said, oh, have you got a pattern for that? Well, I knitted that back in the 80s and I just knitted it on the needles and I was just referring to a picture that was on the wall. It wasn't drawn out or anything. So, um, but if I do it again, I'll probably make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so um, yeah, that's another design that I want to work on. Um, so we're going to leave, I think, today, Joe, aren't, aren't we, with uh, yesterday. Yesterday, which was Sunday, so the last day of the four-day holiday, uh, we had all of our grandchildren round. And they, and they all had a little party, and they all had crowns on, and you did a little film of them. So before we go, we're just going to... With oh. our king. Our king is in there. Uh, oh, King of Barini's in there too. Yeah. So if people follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll know the King of Barini because I quite often will take the odd photograph of his 19 bottles of bleach that he's got in his bathroom or the 1600 tea bags that he's got in his kitchen or what else, his pie collection. Sorry about that. I was um, I was shot down in my prime whilst I was talking about the King of Barini's pies, but I'm trying to say goodbye. So um, if you don't already subscribe to this channel and you like it, please subscribe because that's what's going to keep us making more videos. And if you already subscribe, hit the like button or hit the bell button 
and uh, I'm Gary A. Smith. On so that was the phone dying again. So I better say goodbye as quickly as I can. I don't even know what I was saying. What was I talking about before I shut it? Liking, hitting the bell, subscribe. Yeah, I've done that. Like, hit the bell, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Next week, I think we've got uh, Pansy's going to be back in to an, up, an update on Pansy's vest. So although I, I'm i not getting anywhere with my vest, you've got Pansy in the background getting on with her. So there's, there's, there's lots of projects going on. And as soon as we get Mrs. Smith on a project, um, yeah, that will um, that'll mean there are even more projects for you to watch. Are you going to say goodbye? So it's bye from me and it's bye from her. See you next time. Oh, don't take his hat off though. Don't take his hat hey, off. No. You do you do you your oh, there's Arthur as oh, well. Oh, okay, good job. Oh, oh you're hats. all little kings and queens today, oh, aren't yeah. you? All of you. Little kings and queens, aren't you? <laughs> the two princes. It's adorable, isn't it? And the little it's princess. Smiling, isn't it? Oh. King Arthur. Yeah. 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 Where's all oh, the others? Oh, all our princes yeah. and princesses. Yeah. We're yeah. trying to get a photo of them all together. Yeah. 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 Hey Alice. Yeah. These are all our little princes and princesses. Yeah. Yeah. Here he is everyone. The King of Barini. If you're on Instagram, you've probably heard of him. Here Hi. he is at the Jubilee Tea that we're having. There is the king.